just a refresher course okay this is a uh, pearl but it's ghost pearl it's got a pinkish color rose I use uh, this I didn't realize there was a dark per pearls for dark colors and light colors but I learned okay we're gonna fast forward as fast as we can possibly we can I don't want to do this car but we're in negotiations because this car is so close to getting done that it needs to get done okay make a long story short it's I was working on this car before my house burnt down six years ago put inner and outer rockers on it if I would have known once I took those ground effects off that those rockers were gone I would have stopped said so fuck this okay anyway this all started out because the hood got caved in because the, the natives uh, jump on the hood or something but anyway so I'm, I got carried away and I molded it in the hood scoops or whatever and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I molded it in the gas cap and then you know, I modified the wing and whatever. Okay, we're not doing a door jam. So, this has got to be sanded down all the way down. But you got to realize, let me turn some light on for you, that um, if you look real close, that's metal flake. It's small, but it's aluminum. Yeah, aluminum is not going to sand as fast as paint. Paint and primer and all this other stuff is going to sand a lot faster. But anyway, let's just move on. Cause, oh, parental guidance and user description advice. This is what I realized yesterday. This boot has to be 80 in order for this car to be 70 because it's like this. This booth is metal, of course, dark. Well, this booth is one metal box inside of another metal box, okay? In the carport, insulated kind of. So it gets extremely hot and extremely cold in here. I used the right stuff to uh, bond the hood scoops in and it's been six years and we got some got some I have to go back and do it which I don't want to I even did it I used the right stuff I even went back and whoa okay so let me focus so I split the hood and put this under the lights on yes I put it under the metal bonded it to it okay so I didn't think there's gonna be a problem so that means I split slid cut the metal slid it underneath bonded it and most of it stayed most of it but not all of it but I contribute that to the extreme heat and extreme cold in the winter time summertime okay this is my wife's car Make a long story short, uh, she was supposed to help me work on this car and I dumped all the money into it and now she gave me my money back for all the materials that I put into it and I'm still not interested in this car because she was supposed to come out here and help me every time, every day. She didn't. I guess she's got some window tint, somebody needs to fix because I'm not a fixer anymore. I'm tired of fixing shit. Oh, we got some more here. Looking sweet. Looking good. Anyway. I'm not doing this for free. This car can go into the carport and call it a day. Doesn't bother me. The only reason I'm thinking twice is because it's so close to being done. But I'm getting paid. Well, we're just going to let that one be. That's the background story. Because I got my own stuff to do. Okay? I do. Everybody has their own stuff to do. I've only been out here for two days. It was kind of hard to come back out here to the shoe shack because I had been home for so long. You know, it just it was weird. Anyway, we got a side job bluey to Chevelle, man. It's sweet. Anyway, this is really close to getting done, but the Grand Prix is closer to get done than this. So, because of the hood scoops had happened the way they did, this is what I did. I took these hood scoops and I, I put mar glass tiger hair underneath the hood scoop and, and bonded bolts through it. And then put bolts through it to bolt it down. Come on. And then I used the right stuff to bond it down. And then I put one coat of mar glass on it, and I sanded that down with sand and socks. And then I put another coat on it, and I'm working on this for the next couple of days because, um, okay, this is because. 
was working on the motor. Got a buddy of mine to help me build the motor originally. Uh, we had it all planned. And something happened in his life, which I understand, so I put, put that back to the side, which is not a problem. But that's not the reason I put the car on the back burner on the 32, the motor. Um, it's a carport issue. They say that it needs to handle 60 pounds per square foot. That would mean it would be 36 inches of snow in a square foot. And I looked it up. In the state of Michigan, we have never had more than 33.8 inches of snow ever since Muskegon, since Muskegon started. But they still want American Steel that I bought it from to come out and reinforce it and do whatever it's got to do. And I got to pay for it. And I should have got a permit because the neighbor two doors down is a crybaby motherfucker. Okay. Got that up. Oh, my throat feels a lot better now. Um, yeah. Bodywork sucks. That's all I got to say. Um, Bodywork sucks. Because, you know why? Because I'm not that good at it. I really am not that good at it. Um, I try really hard, but I'm not that good at it. I'm never going to be that good at it. I'm 61 years old. Uh, if I ain't if I ain't good at it now, I ain't never going to be good at it. And you know what? Some people are good at guitars, and I think some people can play a guitar. Two people can practice forever in a day, and one get really good, and another one not so good. I believe there's a skill based talent. Hey, I could be fucking wrong. I've been wrong before. So I think I've fucking pretty much covered everything. Um, if that Grand Prix slash whatever fucking piece of something doesn't get negotiated at the right price here real quick like, it will be back in that carport out there. And once it hits that carport, it's not coming back in this garage. Because I started looking at, yesterday I started looking at the chop and thinking, you know what, what am I working on that for? Only because it's my wife, because it was somebody else's car, it would have done pushed that fucker out a long time ago. But you're married for 25 years, what the fuck are you fucking gonna do? But I'm getting paid. This is what irritates me about the car. Uh, this is the truth, and she watches my videos once well, but this is the truth. I brought her out here, and I'm not Johnny Pro Body Man, but everybody knows that you, you say them this way, and then you say them this way. No, okay, so I let her be, you know, I'm not gonna hassle her, whatever she wants to do. I come over here, and she's doing the fucking wipe on, wipe off. I said, what are you doing? She goes, I found a better way to sand. Wow, well, fucking lucky me. I'm glad I married you. That's where it all kind of started. Did I get in her ass? No, I didn't get in her ass. This is why, this is why I said, okay, it's fine. It's your car. You're going to have swirl marks, scratches in it, but, you know, I'll do the best I can. And, yeah. So, it's, it's fortunate because before the house burnt down, I was finishing car, and it wasn't my car. And she wasn't out here. So I'm glad it didn't get finished. Because now I'm getting paid. Am I getting paid what I should get paid? No. It's like the family friend discount that I don't give out because I ain't fucking doing nobody's cars. Ever. I'm pushing 61 in like a month and a half and I'm not doing nobody's fucking cars. Ever. Not fucking ever. I don't even care if it's my kids' cars. I'm sorry. I'm too fucking old. I got my own shit to do. Got my own projects to finish. They need work. Anyway, it's the moral of the fucking story. Someday you wake up and you realize you're fucking really old. Oh, then you wake up and your fucking knee starts bothering you again. Yeah, that hasn't bothered me for a long time. But hey, whatever. Limping Louie. So here we go, piece of property, piece of one cell, piece on earth, rest in peace, bigger piece, five piece of extra, piece of pussy, piece of corn dog, piece of pizza. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. And not gonna go into it right now, because I don't want to just make this video really, really long. Um, I bought some spark plug wires. I think I, I could be wrong. Southwest performance. I could be wrong. But within the next couple of days, I'll do a video on it where they shorted me a spark plug. And I will show you their response, which I would never fucking buy a goddamn fucking thing from this place again. 
I'll let you read the emails that they sent me. It's pitiful. People don't stand behind their shit. His name is Fred. Fuck you, Fred, okay, baby? Fuck you, Fred. That's what she has got to say. Fuck you, Fred. Over one spark, spark plug wire they shorted me. They say I had to buy a whole new set. Really? Well, lucky fucking me. If I'm going to buy a whole new set, why would I buy it from you? Because you fucker shorted me anyway. But anyway, I'll show you the emails. I'm um, in the next video or whatever. I got some fucking Santa to do, and um, I don't want to. My knee hurts. Did I mention that? Um, narcos on my lunch. That's what happens when you get on. Um, enjoy your evening. I surely will.